guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we'll talk about playwright tags and uh, annotations so uh, if you have so many tests in your file and if you want to execute based on your uh, requirement right if you want to divide the uh, test in the suits for example sanity test mock test or uh, for functionality like it is in sanity test but at, as well as it comes in the login test or it comes in the card test so something like that also you want to divide in fast test slow test or for a specific to browser test right so you can achieve all this using the playwright tags also in reporting sometimes you want more information like you want to provide the jira links bug links and uh, uh, you want to play around the test like if you want to sometimes skip some tests if you want to sometimes uh, run only one test so those things you can do the with the annotations so let's jump into that so I don't have much slides only these things and I will explain with the live code as always so you can we can just start so this we will talk about the playwright text first so playwright text are my favorite thing like uh, it always uh, help me to divide my test such that, that uh, my test suite is organized flexible and efficient so I, I can run only test I want so for example when I uh, develop CICD pipeline and uh, in overnight test I only want to do the just mock testing I can divide the test in the that way. So let's uh, uh, use the annotation directly. So if you have uh, older version than 141 then you can uh, directly put this also like like at the rate uh, smock. So this is like my smock testing one and this comes in my sanity testing this comes in my smoke as well as sanity and uh, these three comes uh, in my regression so I can divide uh, this uh, something like this so I have put it at the red so I, uh, right now you don't need to worry about it is passing or failing just uh, you need to worry about which test cases we are running so now if I want to run sanity only right so you can use the grab command so if you go to documentation in annotation it will be provided so this is the command like you can run this so it's a NPS playwright test that we used we need to add grab and annotation so if I want to run regression only right so I just uh, for example sanity only so it will run my sanity test only so you see it is running just two test sanity uh, where we put the sanity one right and if you run with the UI then in UI it will uh, show you that tag as well So here you can see like uh, it will show all the text like if you want to run sanity only and you can click on sanity and it will run sanity only and if you want to run smoke only it will run smoke only you can clear from this here and uh, if you want to run regression it will re run regression only in UI mode. So that way you also you can do that if you have used the tags and uh, there is mo one more way to add the tag is uh, in documentation itself it has provided. You can use like this also but to use this like this you should have latest version of the playwright which i already mentioned you can update uh, uh, playwright version from the year installation tab so you can put something like this so instead of uh, putting here like if you put here what happens is like when report comes right if i run the regression i will show you there is no harm in that so you can put regression and run that my regression tests are failing now yeah so I got the reports in report it shows like at the rate regression and here regression also so sometimes uh, while readability wise it may confuse uh, some higher level management people <laughs> yeah so you what you can put is you can uh, put something like this so you can put one argument here one more argument and uh, which is tag and uh, here like you can tell that this is my regression suit and uh, this I don't need so you can put something like this only and now you can run this so all this failed but here you can see like it doesn't come at the rate regression it just shows the tag different separate than the name so this is the benefit of using something like this 
so these are the annotation we talked and uh, how to use this text so i just told you like i just show you how you can put the text so two ways this one and this one so you, uh, this is better way for readability and reporting wise also so i always prefer this but it supports after uh, 1.42 something like latest version only so uh, ways to use the text so first of all browser type so if uh, some of the test you want to run only on chromium and not in other uh, browser right so you can divide using the browser type you can put the text in browser also in package uh, playwright configuration it always already gives you like name chromium and which device you run currently i am running all the tests in chromium only so if you enable it will run in all three browsers but here also in tag wise you can uh, directly put your tags like in which browser you want and you can uh, pass this grep command and uh, once you pass this grep command here like you just need to give that uh, which browser you run so it will run only those test cases of for chromium also other way is to test speed so most of the people use that one only so they divide this test into fast and small so if uh, this is fast they put it fast and if this is slow for example they put their slow so what is the benefit of this so if my build is ready and i just quickly want to do the sanity testing or just want to run my suit i just run fast test only and skip the slow test so that way it will make sure like all the tests run in the quick manner so this is one of the use case for fast and slow and many organizations do that and one more way is uh, area of functionality that I already explained like uh, if this uh, test affects my login then I put this login and this uh, test affects my uh, for example say shopping cart so I can say cart this is my uh, affects my product page I put uh, product page so this way you can uh, divide that so if you if something change in the cart and you just need to run the uh, test case that are related to cart so you can just run cart test case only so this is a great use case of using the uh, tags now oh okay we can use uh, i already demoed how to use tags now what we can do is in grep property we can change in config file only so for example uh, if I get go to the playwright config.ts so what we can do here is like we can put uh, under this uh, defined configuration you can put the grep command mm, yeah and uh, if you put something like this sanity and save it and uh, if for like for ci cd pipeline uh, you are passing this para as a parameter so for example sanity you are passing in parameter or whatever the tag you are passing in parameter so here you can provide the parameter and it will update at runtime so if you are using jenkins or CIT, if you are familiar with that if you are not uh, just i am giving you example you can put directly sanity here and if you run just a npx playwright test without any command then only it is running two sanity tests that we have defined so uh, that is where you can use the also uh, one of great invert is one of the command so i need to just uh, disable this uh, and uh, i can run this so grep what grep invert does it it runs all the tests apart from uh, what uh, i tag i have used so we have these tags right so if i don't want to run slow one so expect slow it will run all so i can it is same like playwright test dash dash grep we use it great dash invert and then uh, i can provide slow so apart from slow it should run all the other tests so see it ran all the tests apart from slow one so you don't see that slow one so this is how the uh, useful that one as well and also grep pinvert also you can configure here like same way like uh, similarly we have uh, put grep you can put grep invert as well so this is uh, what we learned from the text now we will go to annotations so playwright annotations uh, provides more detail in the test results when so whenever the report gets generated and upper management reads that uh, message we can provide more uh, information to that so first of all uh, we can see the describe block so there is something called test dot describe that we can put so here i have already put it the describe block so just you need to uh, put this line we already used this in previous videos as well so we can put this test to describe and run this 
so i have uh, put it the information api test for login right so uh, when i run this report right now sorry not slow one okay so we get this information api test for login api test. if you see older one we are not uh, uh, seeing any any information about test like which suit it is running but now uh, we are seeing like it's running from api test for login so it will give more, you more information so in one file we can have multiple describe block as well mm -hmm. so if uh, this my two tests are uh, uh, one of the describe block and other uh, three are in other describe block and this is like api test for login and api test for card so it will provide more information api test for login api test for card so this is how this describe block works and uh, you should always uh, i recommend to use the describe blocks whenever you are writing the test so now when you are seeing the test result you are seeing like other tests getting skipped so it is not running at all other files so why this happened right so we already used that as well in previous video we are providing skip so skip is one of the annotation that you can use so in uh, all the test cases i have skipped those test cases because i am not sure like it is working or not so i have put it skip test so when you put the test dot skip it will skip the test and it won't run at all so apart from skip we have other uh, also only fix me fail and slow so if you put this only right describe dot only so it will run only that test case. it won't run any other test case so you can run all the like i am not giving any test name but it will run only that test case. so this is very useful and my favorite thing like when you are uh, building this test or writing this test right so that time you put a test dot only and uh, you can run only this also we have this right this also run only that test only so if you have put at this only and uh, if you are running with a uh, command line it will always run that one only also if you are fixing that test right so you did not to run all the tests you can run only this test so this the same way you can uh, use fail me so it was uh, fix me sorry so it will always uh, uh, again it will skip that test and uh, it will it will run same like uh, what we had in skip right so if i run now all the tests so you can see like where i put at this uh, first test get one so if you are seeing get one it got skipped no, not this one uh, this one this one got skipped so it is just uh, tell it that uh, it is a fix me test so we need to fix it so whenever someone reads the result uh, you can get this information it is fix me but if you open this skip one right so it just says skip so it is skipped and uh, if uh, if you open this it will just say it is fix me so this is how it, ca it can be useful you can also provide slow that means this test is slow test and uh, uh, it takes more it will uh, waits more time than uh, whatever we have normal test so that is that is also use case you can try it out also we can use this annotations so in annotation you can provide type and description so if you go to the documentation uh, here this i had already copied so we can use this one so if i put in my uh, description for example this test right i we uh, this is also failing and i i can see like i have put it this is the issue number for this test and uh, performance wise this test is very slow this information i am putting now i am running this uh, test again so which test we have put it for page one right so we can uh, open this page one and we can show in uh, here information it will provide me with this was the issue for this test because of this it is failing and uh, performance wise i am informing everyone that is very slow so the main use case of annotation is to provide more information in the reporting and also it uh, has some functionality to provide like skip and only those kind of things so these are the things from the tags and annotations if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section also like this video and please subscribe this channel and share it to other qf members 
and also follow me in social media links are provided in the description where i share funny memes on software testing you may like it so thank you